a variety of changes that can be made within the NVIDIA control panel to get some better performance from your GPU. The proper configurations will moderate the performance of your GPU in the sense that if you want to configure it for power saving to have more battery life or if you want to configure it for performance to basically kill battery life now when you download the nvidia drivers the official ones and i have a video on that i'll have a link below you're going to get the, the control panel and you should be able to launch it by right clicking on the desktop and selecting it here or it may be in your um, taskbar down here now when you first launch it this is what you're gonna get and uh, let me just maximize this here now I've done this quite a few times already because I do game on my system sometimes and when I install my drivers I have to do this and sometimes if I install a, a version of Windows let's say I've installed Windows 10 or Windows 11 and I install my drivers I have to do this as well so I've done this quite a few times and I have an idea what really works and what doesn't make much of an impact to your system's performance now usually because i'm using a potato gpu i have to configure things for best performance so if you want best performance you can follow this guide i will have a few things that i keep on just to not have the system show a whole bunch of pixels and games and you should be able to actually make out things so i'm gonna be we're gonna be tweaking the nvidia settings here with these options for performance and just a little bit of visuals just to make just to make sure that things are fairly visible here where you have preferred graphics processor you're gonna click on where it says auto select and select your graphics count from here and then we're gonna get into the nitty-gritty of things now this one that says image sharpening I do not change that in some cases and in very few cases I select on for this um, for the film grain, I usually have no full film grain and I just leave this as it is. But for this tutorial, we're going to keep it as off. For ambient occlusion, you'll have this as off as well. Anisotropic filtering, this is an application control, but because anti aliasing is off and this has something to do with anti aliasing, it can stay as it is. It, anti aliasing mode now. For this, I use this as application control as well, so that if I'm playing a game, the anti-aliasing that the game wants to put on it, let it put that on it. So transparency is off, um, background max frame rate, this is off as well. CUDA GPUs, make sure that your graphics card is here. Once this is all, that's fine, and your graphics card should be there. Um, low latency mode, this can be off. You can put it at ultra i've never really tried it on ultra before though because i usually just keep it off because i'm using a 60 hertz monitor but if you're using like a higher refresh rate monitor you can try playing with that setting as well as this one that's this max frame rate if you're using a high refresh rate monitor like um, a 120 hertz monitor then you can try or a 90 hertz monitor or something that's above 60 then you can try playing with these two settings but i'm just using a 60 fps monitor so i leave this as off and this is off now for your opengl rendering gpu here make sure that your graphics card is selected there optimize for compute performance keep that as on power management mode now for this one, to be honest, prefer consistent performance and prefer maximum performance. I have not seen any difference with those, but I usually just use prefer maximum performance because the title sounds better. But to be honest, I've never really gotten much of a much performance difference with both of these. And um, if you read the description, what it says about both of them, then that can give you a better idea if you want to use them as not. So. You don't have to really take my word for it. You can just read the descriptions that NVIDIA says about this setting. So you can see for yourself. But I'm just going to be showing you guys what I've personally done over the years that has worked for me. So for these, I usually leave these as they are. 
coming down to where it says threaded optimization and this is on that needs to be on for this you can change the filtering from quality to performance or high performance this is definitely going to impact how things look like games will look you won't they won't look pretty some games definitely won't look pretty but for the later games that have a lot of extra tweaks so that they can look as beautiful as they can it's gonna try and turn things down but even though the game has so much enhancements it's still going to look good everything else here is fine all those settings that we just changed whatever game that you launch it's gonna play better than how you had it before but you the quality will definitely not look as beautiful but if you just want a smooth performance and you have a fairly decent graphics card and you're trying to run a very intensive game these options will definitely help all right and um once you have that you hit apply Your screen should flash i think or is it not no it's not here it's somewhere here. so the option is just gonna be gonna be blinking here the box just blinks a little bit then you come here to where it says set physics configuration a lot of programs might take advantage of this so make sure that your graphics card is selected here as well and hit apply another tap here the last one you want to make sure that it says use 3d use um advanced 3d settings and not this and not this All right, make sure that it says this because these are the the custom settings that we made here all right so those are the things that you will need to, to change um i'm not sure if you necessarily need to do a reboot but just to make sure you can perform a reboot all these glimmering effects that they're putting on characters nowadays in games they're really intensive on graphics cards and you have to have a very expensive card to run some of those games so depending on your model gpu you can do some tweakings and get something to work for you so i just wanted to share that option there for nvidia users if you have any other questions you can leave in the comments i'll get back to you as quickly as i can that's basically going to be it so i hope you found some value in this i hope it was able to help you in some way if it did you can drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're into that kind of thing and i'll see you in the next one